Hi and welcome back to my Journey to Scotland series. As a recap, the previous two videos focused on our first two days in Fort William. On day one it was my birthday and we took the gondola up Annick Moor. It takes you up 650 metres providing stunning panoramic views of the eighth highest mountain in Britain. The second day we achieved a major goal of mine which was to climb Ben Nevis, a mighty height of 1,345 metres, which is a significant achievement for me considering my fear of heights. So this video picks up after these two days where we depart for our second stage of our trip to Scotland and we move from Fort William to the Isle of Skye. The next couple of videos will cover our exciting journey to Skye and our experience in visiting eight of the top 12 things to do in Skye. Okay, so we've uh, finished with our time in Fort William um, and we'll be heading up to the Island of Skye um, so it's about a two hour journey um, by car and we'll have a ferry and then after we get to the island by ferry which is 20 minutes it should be about an hour drive but on the way we're going to just try and stop at things that will be interesting to see so we have stopped for Neptune's staircase which is for like canals, canal boats um, so apparently that's something interesting to see so we'll see that and then we'll also stop at the viaduct, uh, the one that features in Harry Potter. I'm not that in with Harry Potter, but I think there's like a scene where the train crosses and there's like the flying car or something. So we'll go see that and hopefully there's one train that crosses in the morning every day. Um, hopefully we'll be able to, to see that and get that on camera. Okay, so a bit of facts about this canal. Um, so this canal took about 21 years to build. Um, and at the time when it was constructed, it was actually the largest uh, artificial waterway in the UK. It was um, built um, for several reasons. Um, it unites the east and the west coast of Scotland through, through locks. Um, and it helped give ships safe passage. Uh, avoiding sort of uh, rough seas and dangerous seas and also enemy attacks too um, and at the time it was built there wasn't really uh, that many proper roads in this area so it also allowed uh, appropriate transport of troops um, because at the time there was some rebellious highlanders who were fighting the government um, here in Scotland so uh, that also facilitated that Interestingly, um, the canal actually never got to fulfill its main purpose, which, as I was saying, was to provide safe passage of ships, uh, both merchant and navy. And the reason why is, um, after the 21 years that it took to build this canal, um, the size of merchant and navy ships had increased um, beyond the imagination um, of the people who conceived the canal and constructed the canal. As such, uh, by the time it was completed, many of the mainstream ships weren't actually able to use a canal at all. So I think that's pretty interesting. But it is still used today by ships, provides uh, safe passage to smaller ships. So I guess it does have a good purpose, um, as well as looking rather beautiful and um, a nice tourist uh, spot to see. So our second stop on our two-hour car journey to the Isle of Skye was the Glen Finian Viaduct. The viaduct was built between 1897 and 1901 and is the largest concrete railway bridge in Scotland at 380 metres. We were lucky enough to arrive just in time to see the Hogwarts Express aka the Jacobite steam train go by. After catching a glimpse of the Hogwarts Express we took a ferry from Malaig to Armadale in the southern aspect of the Isle of Skye. So if climbing Ben Nevis yesterday wasn't enough, on our way to, well, now that we've arrived in the Isle of Skye, um, one of the first things that we're going to do is try and climb this uh, another mountain. It's called uh, Blaven, I believe. So soon after we arrived in Sky, we stopped at Blaven, also known as Blarblane, for a hike. So Blaven is 929 meters high 
and is in fact one of the largest on the Isle of Skye. The trail is about nine kilometers from the car park, there and back, um, and it takes a couple of hours. But at the top, and even working your way up, provides really nice panoramic views. If you are doing this, definitely come prepared with insect repellent. Um, there's just a ton of them, like more than I've ever seen in climbing or any cross country that I've done. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. There's loads of waterfalls too. Um, and I mean, just look at the surroundings. It kind of reminds me of Norway, like the fjords. So after hiking to Blaven, we continued our drive up to Dunvegan in the north part of Sky, where we had a cottage for the next couple of days. During the drive, we encountered some curious and friendly sheep, which we came to realize is a common feature on the roads of Sky. Join me in the next video, where we start exploring the highlights of Sky.